Oh, didn't see you there. Just kidding, yes I did. Hey guys, Tim Lewis here, back in the studio. Today I'm gonna show you how to smooth out your slow motion shots. Um, a lot of people, when they uh, decrease the rate of their clips in Premiere, it's a bit choppy. But uh, if you didn't know, Premiere has this thing called optical flow, and if you select that, it smooths out your shots beautifully. Let's take a look. So here I just have a project open here. Um, I have a uh, 60 frames per second sh uh, clip right here that I took from my camera of me just jumping. Yeah, I know I'm not flexible, so what? Here we go. So I'm just gonna bring this uh, clip right into a sequence that I already built. It's a 60 frames per second sequence that matches the, ma the settings of this clip. So check this out. This is, I'm gonna just you know, bring it over here. Wow, that was so cool. Now what would happen if I were to, I'm gonna do Command R. What would I do if I decrease the, uh, the the speed here? Let's do uh, let's do 20%. So most of you would choose frame sampling, which is the default version. To really to really smooth out your uh, your your slow motion clips, check out optical flow. Hit OK. So before I play this, let me show you what frame sampling does. Um, I'm just going to grab the same exact clip, uh, same thing, do 20% again, but with frame sampling this time as opposed to optical flow, just so you guys can see the difference. So this is with frame sampling. You can see that basically what it does is, I'm going frame by frame right now, you can see one, so there, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It basically, so, you know, so basically what it does is just duplicates frames. And it gives it kind of that jittery feeling. With optical flow though, it actually reads the, uh, the clip and kind of creates new frames in between based on kind of what they see on the first frame and what they see in the second frame. And then they kind of fill in the gaps right there using technology. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. Much smoother, and that's 20%. As beautiful. You would not get this much smoothness in 20% speed. Let's go frame by frame. As you can see, I'm going one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. It's, uh, it's magic, really. All right. So that's it. Let's say I wanna go a little bit further. Here's the same clip again, 60 frames per second. Woo! Big Timmy. There he is. Um, so before I did uh, Command R or Control R for UPC people, uh, and then selected everything here, this time I'm gonna go down to time remapping. Before you do that, make sure you right click the clip here and go down to time interpolation and make sure optical flow is selected. Time, frame, frame, bleh, frame sampling is uh, the default version. So make sure optical flow is selected so that, so that Premiere uses the optical flow tool uh, to, to do the time remapping. So I'm gonna do 100% all the way until I get about here. Set a keyframe here and right about there go back to 100% there. Um, I'll create, spread out a little bit, create a bit of a, uh, let me zoom in here with the plus button. Scroll over, zoom out a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna create, expand these brackets just a little bit so it smoothly you know, goes in and out. And I'm gonna bring this down to it was originally 20%. Let's bring it down to 10%, see what happens. I don't care. That's how badass I am. 
So I might need to render this. Yes, I will. So make sure the clip is selected. Go to sequence and render selection. And now we wait. Oh, it's done. All right, so let's play it and see what happens. So let's go uh, at the slow motion parts. Let's see. Let's see if it went frame by frame. Frame one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Yeah, look at that. It goes frame by frame. Does a really good job. Fast, slow, and then back to fast. Pretty cool, huh? I'm not flexible, so just deal with it. So there you have it. Super easy. Optical flow, just make sure that's selected and that makes your slow motion look so much better. Um, if you like what you see, hit that like button. If you like what you see in general, hit that subscribe button. I'm hitting for, I'm going for 2,000. Um, if I get the 2,000th subscriber, I will send that person a prize. So um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell if you want to get notified every time I submit a new video. If you want to see something, Comment down below with something that you want to see and you want me to cover. I'd be happy to help out. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. If you guys have beer, send it to me. Message me and I'll give you my address. <laughs>